EverQuest is by far my favorite MMORPG. And ever since I was younger, I've wanted to have a single player experience. And I found a method through EQMU that we're actually able to do this. So we're just going to install EQMU, we're going to run the login server setup and the bot server setup. This is a pretty straightforward solution. We just run the script as an admin, and then we have to download the game straight from archive.org. Specifically, we're looking, looking for the Reign of Fear 2 client, as all the other, other clients tend to crash or have other issues. So we're going to make a shortcut of qgame.exe to our desktop, and then we're going to run uh, apply the patch me suffix to the very end of the target. Then we're going to edit our eqhost.txt file with notepad and make sure it says 127.0.0.1 on port 5999. Then we're going to run our eqmu server.pl file and we're going to do um, some, we're going to set up our bot server par portion as well as our login setup and also run the um, bot database update just to be sure we have all the information in there. Now we're going to download and set up the MySQL workbench so we can modify some of the values within the database to make it slightly easier for single player use. If you followed all the setup defaults, the username is root and the password is eqmu. Now we're going to set our PEQ database as the default and then we're going to go ahead and update some of our values in the database table. And a lot of these values, what they're going to do is they're going to make it much easier for single player use. Things like retrieving your corpse um, uh, for items is no longer needed. You'll level up a lot faster. Uh, NPCs don't always have an advantage over you. Um, things like that. You can easily pick apart whatever pieces you want to keep or what you want to make more difficult. And here I had to adjust the security settings so we can run the update commands. And we're going to go ahead and jump into game here. I'm going to go ahead and create some bots. And if you want to play single player alone without bots, this is completely doable. But for this instance here, we're going to actually so create some bots. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a druid bot and a warrior bot and then invite them into party. And uh, as you can see here, I've got some all different types of bots that are very helpful and you can actually take on yellow NPCs and gain experience a lot faster. And I would recommend also looking up all the bot commands that are on the QMU wiki page. Um, you can create bots of uh, different classes and uh, also there are different commands to give your uh, bots different items that you will find along your way. Also uh, you're going to have to do bot update commands as you level up so that way they can follow your level along with you. And also every time you log in to your character or if they start dying for some reason, you will have to run the bot list command. And then what you do is you just click on each bot that you want to respawn. Now I'm in Castle Crushbone, about to take on Lord Darish, and then we're going to take on Emperor Crush after this. As you can see, doing solo missions or with this group is all very doable. As a matter of fact, when EverQuest came to PlayStation 2, I assumed it was going to be something like this, where we'd be able to uh, play in all of the worlds, but it would be a little bit easier for us to solo. Uh, unfortunately, it ended up being a completely different game. But here we're going to take on Emperor Crush and, and the Prophet. And as a matter of fact, it's going to be so difficult that I'm actually going to lose some bots here. And the reason why I'm not necessarily afraid of dying is, once again, I will not be losing experience on death, and I will not be losing my inventory on death either, because retrieving my corpse um, would be extremely difficult uh, just on my own, on my own server. So. It can be kind of difficult because I am playing as a ranger, so uh, my melee's not so well. I'll be missing quite a few hits here. And after Crushbone at level 14, I'm going to go ahead and head over to the Plains of Power 
over to the Nexus and then the Pal Palatal Caverns where we're going to take on Yellow Eyes and some of the bandits that are here. And I figure this is actually just kind of a fun area to, to play around in, more than Crushbone at this level. But it's kind of show you, another thing we also altered in the database was the aggro range too. So it's not so difficult. If, you, if you're playing without bots, you would actually be able to pull individuals from a camp um, much more successfully as well. Uh, I figure that's a pretty good part of single player is being able to pull individuals from big groups of mobs. And um, like I said, also uh, not having to pull your corpse um, away from an area like a dungeon or something. And I figure those are definitely the two biggest ones, as well as leveling up faster too, because the slower leveling portion is only fun if you're actually playing with other people, you know, you get to talk and socialize with some friends. Um, otherwise, if it's just you playing alone, I would imagine the leveling would have to be a, a, a hell of a lot faster. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's definitely take, worth taking a look at playing EverQuest in, in a single player sort of mode. It's a lot of fun, especially if you're in an, uh, in an area where you don't have uh, online internet capabilities. Maybe you're on an airplane or you're off somewhere where the internet's not great and you still want to play EverQuest. This is a very good solution, you know, uh, install it on your computer and uh, still be able to get that EverQuest experience, do quests, uh, you know, level up and uh, still be able to have all that fun. So uh, thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.